Ni hao ba nianji. Hello, you right. Um, welcome to another lesson of online learning. This is the second in our series of, on learning about the family. So if you haven't looked at the slides, the first set of slides or the first video that goes with that first set of slides, please look at that one first, uh, then come back and do this one, okay? Because our family sentences one is video number two. All right, let's jump into it. So we're going to be doing some sentences about family. So quick review to start with. Uh, then that's e and then r sentences with yo. San is sentences with zhe shi, and si is practice with dang lao shi da jia. Don't worry too much if you don't know what all that means just yet. Hopefully by the end of this presentation you'll understand it all perfectly. We'll start with another quick family saying. This is J.K. Rowling who thinks that family is a life jacket in the stormy sea of life. I certainly hope that's true for you and your family. Um, so, E is our review. Do you remember these guys? This is Xiao Wanzi and uh, her family. Uh, so we'll just start with a quick review, see if you can remember what those, how we say these words in, uh, in Chinese. So they're the characters for dad. Do you remember how to say dad in Chinese? Hopefully you remembered. Baba. There's her mum. How do you say mum in Chinese, do you remember? Mama. There's a granddad. Granddad in Chinese is? Yeah, yeah. There's a grandma. Grandma in Chinese is? Nah, nah. There's an older sister. Older sister in Chinese is? Jie, jie. And Xiao Wanzi is the little sister. And little sister in Chinese is? Mei, mei. So hopefully you've remembered at least some of those. That'd be pretty good if you remember some of them. All right. So the new stuff that we're going to be doing today are sentences. And we're going to be making sentences with that character there. That character is yo, which you've actually seen before. Okay. So we're going to be making sentences about the family members you do and don't have. So yo means have. Yeah. We've seen that before. Uh, so to make sentences about our family members, we use the word yo, which is pronounced Y-O-U, third time, yo. Uh, so those two characters down the bottom there, what yo, that just means I have. You guys have seen that in the context of your uh, classroom supplies. Yeah, like I have a pen, what yo be? Uh, I have a, uh, an exercise book, what yo ban zi? All right, so you've seen that one before. So a couple of examples, yeah, what yo jie, jie. That just means I have an older sister. Yeah? Another example. I have a younger sister. That's so basically the same as English in the order of the words. You can just see that you don't need to say a ah in there. You can just say literally I have little sister. Okay. Now, those two characters there mean don't have. Right? So to make sentences about the feminine we don't have, we use those two characters, which are pronounced mei yo. And again, you guys have seen that before. You know, when we talked about, you know, wo mei yo bi. I don't have a pen. Or wo mei yo ban zi. I don't have a book. All right. So you've seen wo mei yo before. All right. So again, a couple of examples. If you don't have an older brother, you would say wo mei yo ge ge. Yeah, I don't have an older brother. Wo mei yo ge ge. If you don't have a dinosaur disguised little brother, you would say wo mei yo di di. I don't have little brother. Wo mei yo di di. All right. So you can introduce people again using language that we've seen before. All right. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So those two characters there at the top of that slide mean this is. All right, and we can introduce people using a pattern the same as we would do in English. You know, this is my. All right, so in Chinese, that sounds like this. And that literally means this is my. That first character means this. The second character means is. And the third and fourth characters together, mean my. Put that all together. This is my. So, how do we use that to introduce people? Well, here are three examples. So, the first example on the left there, that just says, 这是我的, 
Jie, Jie, which literally means this is my older sister. And the word order there in Chinese is exactly the same as it would be in English. All right. If we look at that one in the middle, that just says Zhe Shi Wo Da Ma Ma. Again, it's the same as in English. So the first two characters there, Zhe Shi, this is Wo Da My Ma Ma Mum. Put it all together, Zhe Shi Wo Da Ma Ma. This is my mum. Same pattern up here with the with the last guy, the last picture. Yeah, Zhe Shi Wo Da Ba Ba. This is my dad. So that pattern there is the same as the same as we do in English. All right. So, si, dang lao shi da jia. So, dang lao shi. That's me. Dang lao shi da. So here the da is like the apostrophe s. Yes. And jia, as you know, means family. So, dang lao shi da jia just translates to Mr. Dunn's family. So we're going to put this language into practice with some actual people. Yeah, these are real photos of me and my family. Nothing's been photoshopped. Uh, so let's have a look at some sentences in Chinese and we'll see if you can work out what they mean. All right, so I'll just wait until you finish laughing about how much hair I used to have. Um, just trying to think. This photo dates from when I was living in Spain. Um, so it's probably about, ooh, let's say, 13 years old, maybe, something like that. So you've there's me and there's three members of my family with me in that photo. Yeah. So let's have a look at some sentences. Right. There's our first sentence. That sentence says, 这是我. Hopefully you remember that 这是 means this is. So 这是我. Who am I talking about there? Oh, I'm talking about that handsome young man. Yeah, 这是我. This is me. Next sentence. Okay, so I'll read that one out for you. That sentence there says, yeah, Can you work out who I'm talking about there? Hopefully, you've worked out that I'm talking about that fine gentleman. This is my dad. And that is my dad. Next sentence. 这是我的妈妈. 这是我的妈妈. You know who I'm talking about there? That's that very fine lady. That's my mum. Yeah, 这是我的妈妈. This is my mum. Which leaves one person left in the photo. 这是我的妹妹. 这是我的妹妹. Now, Hopefully you can see that because there's the female radical there in those characters, that's um, a female family member, which this person is. Do you remember that's older or younger sister? She does look younger than me, doesn't she? Um, and that is, in fact, my younger sister, Christine. Yeah, so this This is my little sister. All right, so using that pattern, I've just introduced um, most of the members of my immediate family, not all of them. There's one person missing. All right, so this is plus a family, uh, 我的, my, plus a family member, you can introduce your family. Uh, and this just summarizes what we've just seen. Okay, these are the four sentences that we just saw. Yeah, this one here, 这是我, this is me. 这是我的爸爸, this is my dad. 这是我的妈妈, this is my mum. 这是我的妹妹, this is my younger sister. Um, I'd like you to have a go at practicing how to say that. Yeah, you've heard you've heard me do it. You can be repeating it as we go along. Uh, you can pause the video so you can practice. You can, you can rewind it if you need to, to to hear me say it again. All right, so really important you practice saying it out loud as well as being able to recognise what the characters look like. Right, that's a lot of people. Don't worry, I'm not going to introduce all of them because that would take a little bit too long. Um, we're just going to introduce a few. Uh, so again, those top two characters you can see already up here at the top of the screen, that just says, this is. So your job is, I'm going to introduce someone, you've got to try and work out who I'm talking about. So first one, 这是我的妈妈. That's going to appear behind my head, hopefully you can see it. 这是我的妈妈. Can you find 
我的妈妈 ，Can you find my mom? Because that's who I'm introducing. Alright, 这是我的妈妈的车子。啊 ，Next sentence, who am I, who am I introducing? 这是我的爸爸。这是我的爸爸。Can you find my 爸爸 ？That's him there. That's my dad. Ah,、uh, next one. 这是我的妹妹。这是我的妹妹。Can you find my 妹妹 ？Give you a hint. She's standing up. That's her. There. That's my little sister, Christine. 这是我的妹妹。Another one. Okay. 这是我的弟弟。I have a 弟弟。我有弟弟。Um. Can you see my 弟弟 ？He's also standing up. He's、uh, standing next to my 妹妹。Actually, that's him there. 这是我的弟弟 That's my little brother. He's actually taller than me, which is very annoying.、Um, but sometimes these things happen in life. All right. So so far you've got my wada mama. He's here. You've got wada baba. He's here. You've got wada meme. She's here. And wada didi. He's here. There's one more sentence from memory. <coughs> Aya, 这是我 Can you see me in this photo? I'm a lot younger than I am now, but I still look fairly similar, I think. Just a wall. That's me. A lot less grey in my beard in this photo. <clears throat> okay, cool. So if we're going to use yo for me, those those I have sentences, right? So we can say about me, wo yo me me. I have a younger sister. 我有弟弟 I have a younger brother. Both of those sentences are true. Yeah, 我有妹妹我有弟弟 They're both true for me. But 我没有哥哥 I don't have an older brother. 我没有姐姐 I don't have an older sister. Both of those are also true for me. I'm the oldest child in my family. That's 老大 in Chinese. 我是老大 I'm the oldest. So all of those sentences are true for me. 我有妹妹我有弟弟，我没有哥哥，我没有姐姐。So, can you now those sentences are true for me? Can you make them true for you? You might need to, you might need to play around with them a little bit, and change to change them up a bit. But you know, what I'd like you to try and do is make some sentences that are true for you, rather than just talking about my family. You can talk about your own. And that's it, really. That, that's your challenge. So if you can make up some sentences for true that are true for you, that would be really cool.、Uh, again, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, you can post them to the classroom,、uh, where either myself or Bai 老师 will get on and answer those as quickly as we can. Thank you very much. 谢谢大家 and good luck with your learning, guys.